Now that you're a mama, do you see a little bit of a helicopter in you or are you saying that will never ever be me? Of course the urge to stop anything from ever hurting or negatively affecting your baby, yeah. you know. Yeah. Do you have a parenting model that you follow? Um, uh, John and Kate plus eight. Do you have an old idea? No, I threw the banana away. Look. <laughs> the I Duggars. Love you. I love you. <laughs> Jen is an amazing <laughs> mother, <laughs> for real. Like Thank it's it, that was kind of the it's one of the incredible things about doing this with you is seeing just how much of a priority being Aww. a mother is yeah. for you and how deeply you care about that over everything Thank else. You. It was it was. Brian amazing. Tyree yeah. Henry told me the same thing. By the way, he says oh, call him Uncle Brian. That's so sweet. <laughs> He's I like Brian. that baby's gonna call me Uncle Brian. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But he said the same thing about you. That that's you very really sweet. are like knocking it out of the park. Oh, yeah. that's very good. I mean, yeah. it's only been a year. Give me, give me eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Need a car? Date our son this summer and bring him out of his shell before college. In exchange, we'll give you a Buick Regal. So what about this and like pushing the envelope in a comedy made you say, yeah, okay, I'm in. I mean, I think it, it is as funny as it is because it's really pushing the envelope <laughs> and really inappropriate and raunchy and, you know, I've known Gene for years and he's the funniest person I've ever met in my life. So when I read it, I mean, I was just, I was dying. And when you're on set, like making something like this, you're like, it's, it's hilarious. The more, the closer you're getting to like the line and the more you're kind of yeah. dancing with the line. But of course, after you wrap something you're like that, you're like, are we gonna be okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of my next question. Was there ever a time where it was like, okay, this is really funny, but can we do this? Yeah, God, I, there probably should have been somebody like that on set, <laughs> but there wasn't. I think it was always like, it was never like, can we do this? Or like, will people be mad at us? But more like, are you we like allowed, really funny. Like, are we like allowed to do <laughs> yeah. this? Like, will like yeah. our like, you know, like parents get mad at us? You yeah. know, like, I feel like it was more like we were just like kids laughing. <laughs> was it Jennifer Lawrence that got the yes from you or did you read the script? It's funny, I, I always read a script before I do the tape, but when I did this, first self tape, I didn't have time to read the script. And uh, then after doing that, I read the script and I was so thankful because if I had read it before, I would have been freaking out about the pressure. <laughs> I was like, this is the funniest script ever. I have to yeah. play this role. Um, obviously, yes, the chance to work with Jen is like a, a huge once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't know why you start with that then. <laughs> I mean, um, I, I gave you that. Yeah, yeah I know, you did, you did put the ball in the right team. Right there. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it was, I would say, a massive part of wanting to do it. Huge, huge, um, huge. huge. In fact, yeah. you know, like if only, if the movie was less good, it would be 100% of why. But the movie also happens to be answer. so extremely funny, and um, and it, I, I just connected to this character so immediately. Uh, Jennifer, I read that you likened acting with Andrew in kind of the same vein as Christian Bale. He's yeah. like, she's shaking his head like, what the hell? Well, the, the, reason that I, I, the, the, the reason that I make that connection in my mind was because the most improv I had ever done, I think, w with somebody was with Christian Bale in, in American Hustle at that point. I was like 23. And I remember feeling like, we were both really like running, like we could break, like, you know, and I and I was really proud of myself for keeping up, be, feeling like I was keeping up with Christian Bale. And so when I say it's the exact same as acting with, with Christian Bale, there was just nowhere that I could go or that we could go or that Gene could throw at us that Andrew couldn't just pick up and just, you know, make a touchdown with it. That's a pop your collar moment. It's a pretty insane thing to hear her but it's say. it's really true. <laughs> I, it means so much. So on the flip side, what was your experience then, you know, working and acting with Jen? Yeah, beat that. Yeah, mostly, I mean, mostly negative. Um, <laughs> it, no, like, like, <laughs> in the, like it, it was kind of wild how normal it felt. We would laugh between takes, during takes, um, and like, the board games we'd play mm -hmm. in between shots okay. and stuff. What like. were the board games? We played a lot of this game called Super Fight. Super Fight was a big one. Yeah, which yeah. is basically just like you make like a fighter that'll be like Willy Wonka with a, you know, like you draw the a cards. robot arm. You draw yeah. cards versus like Mr. And Rogers. And there were times that we were, he would be like in a, what is called a, um, I guess you'll just bleep this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where we were like, like doing like nude scenes, just like, 
I am a paper bag. That <laughs> and it, the whole game is you just argue about who would win yeah. in a fight, and that's the whole game. The fact that you played it like in your banana hammock is the best. Banana, <laughs> hammock. banana yeah. hammock is good. We can go skinny dipping. What about sharks? Run here. You kind of do have to just strip it all down. I was like nervous about having a 20-year-old co-star just because I was like, that sounds annoying. What if they just like annoy me all day? <laughs> and so that was just like a huge relief. Like minute one, I was like, oh, you're cool. Okay. How did you have, because you both did, you know, have nude scenes. So how did you prepare for that? How do you get in your head for that? Or do you even have to? I don't know. It didn't really feel like a big deal to me. No. I just, yeah, you just kind of, just kind of do it. Yeah, everybody was so, so considerate. We had intimacy coordinators. We, we had a ton, the set was closed. Like. It was as safe and professional as it could possibly be while the two of us were still able to like make light of it and like yeah. joke around about what a kind of ridiculous situation that we were in. The thing we all love about Jen in this business is that you kind of are the ultimate cool girl. Like, you're just fun. You just, you seriously, it's like what you see is what you get. And I didn't love that more than when I saw you at Cannes and you were snatched from head to toe and then had your flip flops on. Okay. I love you! Thank you for bringing this up. I would really like to straighten this out. I was not making a political statement. Not that, like, I wouldn't, <laughs> like, I totally agree with, I had no idea until it, like, came out and they, that there was, like, a whole controversy with people wearing flats or, like, walking down the red carpet barefoot or something. I had no clue. My shoes were a size too big. And I knew, I wore them, I wore heels going up, but then I forgot to take a picture with my pr production team, Excellent Cadaver. So we had to take an Excellent Cadaver picture. And I knew I would eat it if I went down in the shoes that were size too big. I put on the flip-flops, and then, you know, everybody's like, what a, what a statement, wow! wow. I was, I'm all for making a statement, I just would want it to be like on purpose, right. you know? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to take credit for... And see, I just thought, Jennifer, she's just like us. Like, she couldn't wear those shoes. It's true, though, you are so... She's just like, a, her feet bloat when she flies. <laughs> <laughs> but I, like And those... I wore compression socks. You find yourself in those situations because you are so unapologetically like yourself, and Thanks. that's why you're here, and that's why you we're really here together. You really are just like us. If, oh your feet, God, if your feet bloat when you fly, yes. The whole I walk out and I'm like, what? Happened and then you're to chugging me? water, chugging water, chugging water because you're like, I'm so bloated from the flight. And exactly. then you put your shoes on the next day, and they're all whole size too big. We just hit a milestone anniversary last year, uh, ten years since the Hunger Games. I'm fine. Uh -huh. Wow. Ten years. So old. Can you believe that? No, I remember shooting the first one and like I was 21 and we were like waiting to do it. And I thought about this moment. I was like, it's so crazy that like one day I'll be like an old lady and these, these films will be 10 years old. I thought about it like specifically 10 years, so. I'm gonna need you to stop saying old lady. Like you, are there. I'm gonna need Imagine you Imagine doing a two shot <laughs> with this new bile angelic. You know, I, I've, I, I've steered pretty far away from ever saying how old I was when The Hunger Maybe Games came out. I don't say the number. I don't, were you not born? Were you 10? I was born. I'm not bad at math. Were you, like, <laughs> nine, were you nine, eight? I was probably 10, yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. If it was Ooh. 10 years ago last year. I mean, oh. you're so cute and so nice. I can't be mad, but that's really gross. It's upsetting. Yeah. I really yeah. But you still want to like punch a hole through yeah, the wall, right? Yeah, I really want to fight you yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. I really Sorry. do. Yeah. But we've got a prequel on the horizon. Yeah. Are you looking forward to I'm that? very much looking forward yeah. to it. I mean, it's all the same gang. So I get pictures from like the crew uh -huh. there and, um, and it just seems, it's really exciting. I'm very excited to see it. We've seen you done everything now. So what genre is next now that you've tackled this one? I mean, my favorite genre to watch is horror. I mean, but my fear of doing a horror movie is that it would like break the fourth wall for me and then yeah. like maybe I wouldn't be scared anymore. Whoa. You know what Yeah, I mean? preserving the fear. It would be like if I did reality TV and I'm like, wait a minute, this was written? Yeah. Like, yeah. what if I was like on Vanderpump Rules? I want to be. <laughs> Did you watch? No, no, no. I'm not caught up. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs>